you had a lot of explaining to do about Wanga Vuka. <laughs> yes. A misconception about it. Uh, if you care to explain how yes. Wanga Vuka so, is. In. So, uh, Wanga Vuka, um, there you've got to distinguish leasing an aircraft and buying an aircraft. When you buy, you have to pay a deposit. You buy from the factory, Airbus or Boeing, where they call the OEM, the original equipment manufacturer. You've got to pay 20% before you take delivery over a period of two years, and then on delivery you finance 80%. With banks, mm -hmm. you take a loan. When you lease, it's actually a rental. There's a company that buys from Boeing and Airbus, and then they rent you the aircraft for 10, 12, 15 years. You pay a monthly rental. Every month you pay maintenance to a reserve, and at the end of the 10, 12, or 15 years, you hand the aircraft back after meeting certain return conditions. That's very different to own. When you own it, yours. You, and and uh, so you've got to find a bank or someone to finance 80% on delivery. And there are very few banks that will do it on their own. They form consortiums. So what has happened over time, these banks have had airlines fail. And then they sit with an aircraft and it's difficult to resell it and they lose money. So in order to promote the sales of aircraft, the English, the German, the French, um, and the... Um, so those governments have formed what they call an export credit agency where they will guarantee the banks. They'll look at the credit status of the airline for a small fee that is paid monthly, they'll guarantee those banks. And in, in the USA, the same type of organization called Exum exists for Boeing. So when we bought these uh, three aircraft and we financed it with a consortium of German banks, they insisted on ECA guarantees. And the ECAs of the German, the French, and the English guaranteed the aircraft. And they, because they're guaranteeing the banks, the banks have no risk. It's all lies with the governments. Mm -hmm. They then insisted that a company is formed and, them, and that the company that they form holds the title until the last day the aircraft the last payment is made. Then the title comes back to the airline. And this company, which we call a special vehicle company, exists for many transactions like this. It's not the only one. There are many. Many airlines have done it. And these special purpose vehicles are registered in Ireland because of it. it's a tax haven. So we pay the special purpose vehicle, which is owned by the French, German, and um, the English governments through uh, third parties holds the title, we pay that, it pays the banks. Now if there was a problem, those governments would complain and likewise the banks. They paid every month. So the money flows through and the title is held by the special purpose vehicle or company and they call this company Wankavuka. So Transparent is. There's nothing there. Mm -hmm. and, and there are financial statements that are prepared for Wankavuka, show the flow of money through. And as far as we're concerned, this is a normal financing structure that happens for when you purchase aircraft.